Angie Jack is dead, 5 things to know about the Survivor star who has died at age 40. Angie Jackis, who competed on the 10th season of Survivor, tragically lost her battle to cancer on January 8. She was initially diagnosed in 2017. Palau star Angie Jackis has sadly died after a battle with cancer at just 40 years old. The tragic news was confirmed via an obituary published by her family via Louisiana news site NOLA.com, noting that she died on Friday, January 8, 2021. Angie was an incredibly passionate person with an extraordinary lust for life, the obituary read. Whether she was sewing, painting, drawing, doing nail art or makeup, costuming, reading, snorkeling, scuba diving, traveling or just raising hell, she did it lovingly and with laser precision, her family also added. Learn more about the Gone Too Soon reality star here. 1. She competed on Survivor. Angie was just 25 years old when she competed on the intense reality show in 2005 and was a target for her multiple tattoos, she had 11 at the time. Although she became somewhat of a challenge superstar, Angie was voted off in 13th place according to a Survivor fan site. 2. She was married. Angie was married to her husband Stephen Calandra of nine years at the time of her death. Angie is an amazing, creative, fearless and all-around badass woman, Stephen wrote on a Goffin page after her cancer diagnosis. Point three. She was raised in Wisconsin. Angie was born Cassandra Ann Jackis on March 27, 1980 to Linda and Wayne Jackis. She has a brother, John Jackis. Although she settled as an adult in New Orleans, Angie was born and raised in Waukesha, Wisconsin, Jackis. After attending and graduating from Muckwinago High School, she also lived in both New York City and San Francisco according to her IMD profile.4. She battled cancer. Angie was diagnosed with a rare form of squamous cell colorectal cancer in November 2017. With mounting medical bills upwards of $30,000, she and her husband Stephen sought to help raise funds via a Goffin campaign. With a combined treatment of chemotherapy and radiation, this form of cancer has an 80% success rate among patients, Stephen wrote in 2017.5. She was a restaurant manager. Prior to her diagnosis, Angie was the manager of New Orleans restaurant St. Lawrence in the French Quarter. The former bartender also previously worked at a tattoo shop and as an ink lab technician. She's a painter, designer, seamstress, and baker, her husband wrote on a 2017 Goffin page. She'll make you a custom corset, costume, or cake. Angie was also a founding member of the New Orleans Nasitian Coalition. Stephen also wrote. 